When you're in a high vibration, you feel good, you attract better, you improve the quality of your health, and overall the quality of your life improves because everything is vibration or frequency. When you vibe high, that's just how it works. You improve the quality of your life. The only problem is a lot of times we hold ourselves subconsciously on autopilot in a lower vibration due to this one thing, attachment. All right, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how you can raise your vibration and transcend all the lower vibrational patterns, all the things that keep us stuck in a low vibration, making it harder for us to manifest and create the life that we desire. So by the time this video ends, you're gonna know how to raise your vibration and it's gonna be much easier to attract and manifest whatever you want into your experience. Check it out. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Meditation with Christopher. Now, do you ever feel stuck, like you're not getting anywhere fast? Do you ever feel like it's hard to manifest and attract certain things in your life? You're not getting where you wanna be fast enough, or maybe everything just feels out of place. Well, let me ask you this one question. What is it that you are attached to? Right, because that's the only time you're gonna be holding yourself in a low vibrational place, making it harder to manifest is if you have a certain attachment to something, whether it's a physical thing, whether it's a belief system, whatever the case may be, attachment is when we try to make something that's not us, us. And this is the main reason why we feel stuck, why a lot of times we don't feel free because we're holding on to things that aren't serving us. And most of raising your vibration is going to be letting go of the things that aren't serving you so you could physically, mentally, and spiritually make room for the things that will. Because like I said before, raising your vibration is really us transcending the physical and connecting to our metaphysical or higher selves. The more you raise your vibration, the more less physical you become, if that makes sense to you. In other words, you become egoless as you raise your vibration. You start to become more in tune and in harmony with the universe and what happens is the universe starts to manifest for you. That was one of my problems along my early journey. I was trying to control everything and trying to control every situation. You know, what, what I was doing was control comes from a place of fear, right? So what happened was I was trying to merge lower vibrational emotions out of fear with the higher vibrational emotions that, and states of conscious, consciousness and being that I wanted to be in, I was trying to merge the two and I just simply couldn't be in all these different energies at the same time. So for example, having a desire to control the outcome, having a desire to control the way things play out and how you manifest certain things in your life is really coming from a place of fear because you aren't allowing the universe to manifest for you. You aren't trusting in the universe to manifest for you, which also comes from a lack of trusting in oneself, all right? Because you literally have a relationship with the universe. I always say this to you guys, that life really, literally is a blank slate mirror reflecting back to you your internal condition and energetic vibration. A lot of times people will ask me, they say, Chris, how do I manifest, manifest a certain person in my life? I want this specific person so bad. How do I get this specific person? I want them so bad. It's that desperate energy that in the same moment that you're saying that you want something, you're telling the universe that you do not have this, so therefore you will always remain in lack. But really what I'm trying to say here is that when you raise your vibration and expand your consciousness, you come to a greater and expanded awareness that we are all one force of energy. So it almost doesn't matter if it's a specific person or not, because really the same soul inside every single one of us, it's all connected. We're all connected to each other. That is the concept of oneness here, right? And when you raise your vibration and expand your consciousness and expand your awareness, you come into the truth of oneness, that really we're all one force of energy, experiencing ourselves in an infinite amount of ways, right? Just like a battery, it has both positive and negative, yet it's one force of energy. And that's why what you do to someone else, you're really doing to another aspect of yourself, all right? But a lot of times with raising our vibration and manifest, manifesting and creating the life that we desire and manifesting things that we want into our life, 
is going to come from us simply just letting go of attachment to certain things in our life because it's those attachments to those certain things that doesn't allow us to feel free because we're holding on to and focusing. Right? I always say to you guys this, one of the most powerful pieces of information I could offer to you. If you're a subscriber, you might be sick of me saying this. <laughs> but whatever you focus on grows. Paying attention is an energy exchange. You literally become what you place your attention on. You become what you are tuning into. That's why people don't feel like they have the power right now. It's because they're placing their attention on things that aren't serving them or anyone else, things that are meant to drain your power, things that are meant to take your attention, right? Like fear-based media companies, right? But when you raise your vibration and you come into a new state of consciousness and awareness and become one and in harmony with yourself and with life and with the universe, like I was saying before, you have a relationship with life and a lot of trusting in the universe and trusting in life comes from a certain level of trust within oneself. The word confidence actually emanates from the Latin word confidere, which literally, literally means to trust. So you build trust in the universe by developing a better relationship with oneself, okay? So with raising your vibration, just get clear and be honest with yourself here. Do you really want to attract and create the life that you desire? Because you could literally be, do, or have anything. But it's going to take some commitment to your vibration. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take some wanting to feel good, right? Because that's what raising your vibration is all about. If you want to check out the scale of consciousness right here, right, you can see how we have an actual scale of consciousness where, like I was saying before, we have the lower vibrational states of consciousness and being, right, fear. It's in that fear that we want to control everything in every situation. But as we raise our vibration and we begin to allow and trust the universe more and we move into a place of love, you naturally attract all the things that resonate with love, which is who you really are, right? Because you are a naturally high vibrational being. And like I was saying before, it's only attachment to certain things. It's only where we place our attention and our focus that makes us believe otherwise, that we aren't unconditional love, that makes us feel fear, pain, right? It's attachment to certain belief systems, to certain thoughts about reality, to certain physical things that aren't serving us, right? So... Even Buddha said it, attachment is the key to all suffering, one of the main components to all suffering. But it's natural to be attached to certain things. But what I'm, here to say, what I'm here to share with you in this video is that the more that you can let go, the more that you can let go, as a matter of fact, the point of which you can let go, the degree to which you can let go is the degree to which you will allow things into your life to manifest, all right? So the more that you can let go and accept the moment and accept who you are and come into alignment with all that life has caused you to become and all that you're meant to be in the present moment, which is going to be just simply you following your passion and doing what you love, the more that you can do that and trust into trust in the universe and trust in yourself, the more that it's going to be easier to attract things into your life, the, more that it's, the easier that it's going to be to manifest things into your life because you're going to be connected to the divine. Right? You're going to be connected to source energy. You see, that's the thing. We are not separate from all that is. We are not separate from the universe. And same thing when I'm making these videos. It's like, I don't really know what I'm going to say next, but it's from tuning into that vibration, tuning into the divine, and letting the divine flow through you that allows the most powerful results in your life. All right? And it's going to be coming from that place of non-attachment, from that place of non-controlling, because you're just being yourself and you're in alignment with who you really are, that you attract all of the right things that are truly meant for you at the right time. But just know this, that most of raising your vibration is going to come from letting go of the things that aren't serving you any longer, whether it's attachment to certain things, or whatever the case may be. And when you raise your vibration, which is who you naturally are, you will become happier, you become healthier, you, you will attract better, and your life will instantly start becoming a lot more magical, and it's going to happen instantly right now. As a byproduct of you watching this video, you're shifting your consciousness right now in the present moment, right? But other than that, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is the most powerful way to ever raise your vibration and manifest. And it's as simple as it could ever be. Let go of the things that aren't serving you to physically, mentally, and spiritually. Make room for things that will. And allow the universe to manifest for you when you're in alignment with who you really are. Peace, love, and namaste, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Later.